much it for the uh, chord progression of this song, uh, Old Tom Rock and Roll by Bob Seger. And uh, <clears throat> I played it in the key of G. On the recording, it's actually in the key of G flat. Uh, and probably what they did is tune the piano down uh, because blues is never played in, uh, in, in six flats like that or an F sharp. Um, so I, I put it in uh, just the key of G because it's a lot easier to play and I think they probably just tuned the piano down and, and uh, the guy played it in G or whoever played it. Um, so I wrote it in G. If you want to play it in the original key, um, then either tune down your piano or <laughs> you can, uh, on your keyboard, you can just transpose it down a half step, make everything a flat, All right, down a half step and then you'll have it. But uh, anyway, let's start with G octave on the left hand. Way down here, here's middle C, so we're down pretty low. Right hand I'm going to put up here above middle C, and we're just going to play, you know, octaves in the, the same note here on the right hand. G, 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 F, E, D. One, two, three, four. And then you repeat and go back again, but there's a whole measure of rest there, so. One, two, three, four. Just take those old records off the ship. I'm not going to attempt to sing like uh, Bob Seger, so. Um, <clears throat> we have here some kind of a bluesy thing. And I'm going to show you the easiest way uh, to put right and hand, left hand together. And then I'll show you how you can do it, uh, you know, a little more embellished. But let's start with the easy way. We're going to have essentially a G chord, G, B, D. But to make it bluesy, we're going to put an A sharp in there right before the B. And we're going to flip that A sharp to a B, like that. So what's happening is actually I'm playing them all at the same time, all four notes, and then I'm letting off of the A sharp. But this is the way it would be written in music. So um, you play them all together and then let off of that pointer finger, like that. And you get that blues sound. And then we have G, C, E. Now what I did is we're going to go back and forth between these, chord, these two chords a total of eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to have left hand G here, G octave. And the simplest thing is just play the G octave every time you have this chord. That's the simplest way, just to get started. We'll, we'll go back and I'll show you how to embellish that if you're if you're able to do that. But let's go to the next chord. We have G. It's actually a C chord. Okay, G C E. But we're going to throw a D sharp in there. And again, we're, I'm actually playing all four notes at once and then letting off of the D sharp. And then I'm going to go to A C F. Okay, and I'm going to do that one eight times. The same rhythm I did over here. One. Left hand's on a C octave, so same same rule applies. Just play the, the C octave every time you have this chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, next chord, we have uh, essentially a, a D chord, D, A, F sharp here. D, A, F sharp, and you have the F as well. Play them all together and then let off the thumb this time. You have to finger it that way because of the, the black key there. So let off the thumb. Don't hold it down. And then we go to G, B, D. We're going to do that eight times. And D octave in the left hand. Do this D octave or this one down here. Uh, in the same way, eight times. One, two, three, four. Sorry about that. I had a, a video just finished compressing. But uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or maybe the low octave sounds better. And then we're going to go back to the G chord. Same thing we did here. G, A sharp, B, and D. But I'm only going to do it five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to show you this um, thing that the piano does. It doesn't do it the first time, but it does it later on in the song. So I thought I would throw it in now so you could, could see what happens. But uh, one, two, three, four, five. We'll just I'm automatically go to a D octave here. And then we're going to go right hand's doing D octave, D octave, D octave, D octave, and then an E octave, and then a G octave. Then left hand's on just a D octave down here. Bum, 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 bum. So you play
play left by itself and then play them together. And then guess what? Back to here. And it does this chord progression over and over and over again. I think there's a saxophone solo and uh, <clears throat> some other things. And the piano doesn't really have a solo. It plays, um, you know, things here and there I hear, but mainly it's this chord progression going all the way through. Now let's go back uh, and see how you can embellish a little bit using the left hand instead of just going maybe something okay so when you're playing your left hand octave you don't always have to play both notes you can play just your thumb sometimes and the rhythm that you do is really up to you as long as you fill up the counts so it really doesn't matter what rhythm you do as long as it out uh, with the beats. Okay, let me do that slow. And you can really watch this here. Okay, so I'm just adding a thumb note in between. And don't try to copy me exactly, you know, unless you want to, but because uh, I'll play it different every time I do it, and uh, so will anybody else who, who improvises. So just get in there and then the same thing on the next chord. So I'm kind of going back forth. Just as long as you last eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. again for that chord progression. So hopefully that uh, will help you some on uh, playing your chords and, and improvising. Hope you enjoy it.